Wake up, people! This is Ted here with another Word Nerd Wednesday. It's great to see all your smiling faces. This week's word came from someone saying it to me. They said, you know, I think you're being a little glib. And I know what that word means. I've heard it before. I've heard it used as an adjective. You're glib. 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 So glib means of words or the person speaking them. Fluent and voluble. Voluble means talking a lot, but insincere and shallow. Example, she was careful not to let her answer sound too glib. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Uh, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries. So glib is an adjective, which means it can be he is glib, she is glibber, and he's the glibbest. Synonyms are slick, pat, neat, plausible, silky, smooth talking, fast talking, etc. But what does the word come from? The origin of the word glib comes from the 16th century, also in the sense of smooth, ultimately of Germanic origin, related to Dutch, slippery, and German, glibberig, slimy. Isn't that funny? So when you're calling somebody glib, you think, you know what? You're kind of slimy. Well, so that's the word for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. And just remember, guys, it's never too late to redo, reboot, rebuild, restart, rekindle, rebirth your life. You can always turn it around and go in any direction you like. Let's create a renaissance on Earth. Oh, and one more thing. Glieberig. 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 German.